The Howl Out of Heroes program is where we get all of the kids in our programs, the ones who really need it, gifts for the holidays. Uh, each of them fill out a wish list of three items that they're really hoping for for Christmas. Yeah, we had uh, uh, somewhere around 40 or so team members, I believe, that uh, kind of loaded up into their cars. We went down the road to a local Walmart and kind of had a shopping spree, kind of unleashed everybody with a cart uh, into the, the Walmart Super Center. Each of them had a list or uh, two or three lists for children through the Youth Village's Holiday Heroes program. And we just kind of went and tried to get as many of the items on that list as we could. My favorite gift that I had to find was probably Elsa. I know a lot of people bought frozen gifts, they were in high demand, but I actually got the last one. There was one particular one, Elsa and a smaller Olaf snowman came with her and uh, yeah, that was probably my favorite because I got the last one. I actually kind of felt like I was on supermarket sweep, so it was a little bit of a race almost, and then I ended up getting done with shopping for my kids really fast, so I went back to help a couple other struggling folks. Some of the guys who had young teenage girls didn't necessarily know what to buy for them, so I helped them out picking out some different clothes, which was really cool. One of the boys was a younger lad and his three main items on the wish list were Legos, Star Wars toys, and Batman toys. And I mean, I would think back to when I was a young kid and all those things were kind of big back when I was a kid and uh, how the toys kind of circle back around. And so I bought like a three foot tall Darth Vader uh, Star Wars toy that's probably bigger than this kid actually is. Um, and then to, to kind of play around with getting Legos that were in the vein of Batman, that were in the vein of Star Wars, and kind of tie all three things that he wanted together was just a really cool thing. And I'm like, if I was a five-year-old, I'd want to be opening this on Christmas. And so it was just a really cool feeling uh, to think about what he'll be like when he opens that up. Last year, we had 1,160 children. So this year, we're going to have a lot more children to help. And these are all local kids in the Middle Tennessee community. Um, that really wouldn't have Christmas without all of our help. So anything and everything helps, um, and it just gets us one step closer to fulfilling all of those wish lists for 1,500 kids.